Hello, and welcome to this tutorial of how to create Cisco Call Manager dashboard in 10 minutes. Cisco Unified Communications Manager, formerly known as Cisco Unified Call Manager, serves as the software-based call processing component of Cisco Unified Communications. PBX DOM is a Cisco Call Manager dashboard third party. The Cisco Unified Communications Application Server provides a high availability server platform for Cisco Unified Communications Manager call processing, services, and applications. The Cisco Unified Communications Manager system extends enterprise telephony features and functions to packet telephony network devices, such as IP phones, media processing devices, voice over IP gateways, and multimedia applications. Additional data, voice, and video services, such as unified messaging, multimedia conferencing, collaborative contact centers, and interactive multimedia response systems interact through the Cisco Unified Communications Manager Open Telephony Application Program Interface, API. Cisco Unified Communications Manager provides signaling and calls control services to Cisco integrated telephony applications as well as to third-party applications. And its primary functions include call processing, signaling and device control, dial plan administration, phone feature administration, directory services, operations, administration management, and provisioning, and it is a programming interface to external voice processing applications such as Cisco IP Communicator, Cisco Unified IP Interactive Voice Response, and Cisco Unified Communications Manager Attendant Console. For more info about Cisco Call Manager, visit the following page. And for Cisco CDR reporting, visit this page. CUCM enables you to generate and have reports like this. You can access all reports by Cisco Unified CDR Analysis and Reporting Service. Or call types report hourly. And traffic summary. I'm going to show you how you can create Cisco Call Manager dashboard within only 10 minutes. So let's get started and follow along with my instructions step by step. Step number one. Sign up in PBX DOM at the following link. Step number two. After confirming your account by clicking on the link sent to your email, you will be redirected to setup page on PBX DOM website. Before start setup the PBX DOM collector software, I draw your attention to the following diagram. It shows the connection between your CUCM and PBX DOM. To set up your Cisco Call Manager dashboard, go to the next step. Step number three. Before beginning Cisco Call Manager dashboard setup, you will need number one, administrator access to the computer on which you will install, number two, ability to configure the firewall to allow the collector to send data to PBX DOM, number three, know about your PBX available connectivity options and needed hardware, number four, run setup.exe as administrator by right clicking on setup.exe and selecting the Run as Administrator option. Number five, make sure nothing is blocking your access to the internet. Number six, if you're behind the firewall, PBX DOM collector software uses the following TCP IP ports TCP 80, 443, 13, 37, UDP 123. And number seven, make sure no Windows policy or antivirus program is preventing the execution of the collector. You can exclude PBX DOM collector's executable files and the entire application directory. Step number four, download the collector software by clicking on the download button and go to the next step. Step number five, install collector software and copy your license key and paste it into your collector and press the register button. After your collector is registered successfully, press the Start button on your collector. Step number six. In this step, you will see the following window. If you successfully registered your collector and started it, after a few seconds, the PBX collector registration status changes from not registered to registered, and collector connection status from not connected to connected, like the following window. Now you can click on the Next button. Step number seven, select Cisco from the vendor list. 
Select Cisco Call Manager version 5 plus from the model list and click on the next button. Step number eight, click on LAN connection and click on the next button. Step number nine, select only your time zone and leave other settings as set by default. Step number 10, PBX DOM collector has an internal FTP server. If you already have an FTP server on the current machine you installed the collector software on, please stop them or change the FTP server port settings in the following fields and leave other settings as set by default. Finally, to send settings to your collector, click on Send Settings to the Collector Software button. The default user is PBXDOM, and default password is PBXDOM at PBXDOM.com. Leave the default user and password. After the settings are successfully sent to your collector, you should see the following message, and you can click on the next button. Step number 11. On Windows, you can find information about how to configure your CUCM, Cisco Call Manager server, to send CDR files to the collector server. For configuring your CUCM to send CDR files to the collector software, follow these instructions. You will need to configure your Cisco UCM to send the CDR data to PBX DOM collector. Number one, log in to Cisco UCM administration and from the left-hand menu, click on the System tab and select Server Parameters. Number two, choose your UCM node from the server drop-down list. Number three, select Cisco Call Manager from the server drop-down list. Number four, in the System section, change the CDR enabled flag to True. Enable this parameter on all servers within the cluster you want to log calls for. Number five, Change the CDR log calls with zero duration flag to true. This parameter enables or disables the logging of CDRs for calls that did not connect. Number six, click on the save button. Number seven, from system menu, select enterprise parameters. Number eight, change the CDR file time interval to one. Number nine, click on the save button. Number 10, Click on the navigation drop-down list from the top right-hand corner and select Cisco Unified Serviceability. You may need to log in to a user account that has administrative permissions. Number 11. Select Tools, then click on the CDR Management tab. Number 12. Click the Add New button. You will now see the Billing Application Server Parameters window. Enter the following parameters. Hostname slash IP address the IP address or host name of the machine running PBX DOM collector. Username, PBX DOM. Password, PBX DOM at PBX DOM.com. Protocol, select FTP. Directory path, enter forward slash. Check tick, resend on failure. Number 13, next click on the add button to complete the billing server configuration. The UCM node will check that the FTP or SFTP details are valid and will write a test file to the FTP SFTP directory. If this fails, you should double check the details you entered. Step number 12. In the next window, you should wait till all the calls data has been loaded to your account. Please don't leave this page until you receive the OK status for all four rows below. This should not take more than 10 minutes. If you don't notice all the OK within this time, please review your settings. Also, make some test calls with your PBX to include a few incoming and outgoing. If the issue is still unresolved, please schedule a free remote installation service by clicking the button. After a few minutes, you should receive four OK and Windows change to the following message on your screen. Congratulations! Please click on the Finish button to access your Cisco Call Manager dashboard. You can make as many as 50 dashboards as you want in the PBX DOM. You can add up to 12 widgets in each dashboard from more than 60 available widgets. You can find more information about the dashboard and widget on the following page. Also, you can share read-only dashboard all across your entire organization. Finally, you can find a complete set of reports, charts and reports, and chart section at the following page. I hope this helps you to find a very easy solution for making a dashboard for CUCM systems and deep insight of your voice traffic in your organization.